If you've been with the channel for a while, you know I used to edit in Premiere, but I'm finding I'm preferring to work more and more in DaVinci. They just keep bringing in new features that are making this program more amazing and more fun to work in. So in this video, I'm going to share eight things you can do in DaVinci Resolve Studio that you just can't at all or as easily and time-savingly in Premiere Pro. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. I'm a professional video editor. I work on a lot of TV commercials and Will and I release weekly videos all about editing, videography tips and tricks, as well as gear reviews. If you're into that sort of thing, subscribe to stay in the loop. And now let's get to the awesome features that DaVinci Resolve has that Premiere just doesn't. Resolve started off back in the day as a professional color grading and color correcting program. And over time, it's just gotten better and better. Everything you need for post-production, you can find in DaVinci Resolve Studio. The first thing I wanna talk about is also probably the most obvious, and that is DaVinci Resolve's color page. Holy guacamole. It's the go-to for pros when it comes to working on Hollywood feature films and is hands down the best option for working with color because of all of the possibilities. In Premiere's Lumetri Color, you can still get professional looking color grading results, but Resolve's color page just has a wider range of options. You can further customize parts of your scene, all of your scene to just really create the look you're going for. And it's just a more enjoyable, fun experience. Next, let's talk about about magic mask. If you're looking to achieve a creative technique like putting text behind an object, isolating a person and putting them into a different scene, cloning yourself. If you were going to try and achieve any of these results in Premiere, it's going to take you way longer. You'd have to manually mask, let's say, your subject, and then you'd have to track it. And I'm going to be overly dramatic for a second. It's mentally exhausting. In Resolve Studio, all you got to do is scribble on the thing that you want to isolate, track, and look at that. You may have to make a few tweaks, but it masks and tracks your subject so that you can focus your time and energy on other aspects of making your video project awesome. Speaking of masking, I want to talk about depth map. <laughs> That is not easy to say. Try it. Depth map, depth map. Depth map is sort of like magic mask in that you can isolate and separate. But what makes this tool really cool is that it isolates the foreground from the background so that you can do cool things like quickly blur the background of an image to create that shallow depth look without affecting your subject. And if you want to learn how to do that, I just released a video. I will link it in the description below showing you how to. If you were going to try and achieve this look in Primer Pro, you'd have to do the same thing that we just talked about with masking, which again is just way more time consuming and tedious. And I don't know about you, but when I've got a billion other things to do in a video project and I have a deadline that I've got to meet, I like things to just work and to be fast and efficient. Next, let's look at face refinement. It is pretty bonkers and it's super easy to use. It lets you smooth someone's skin, reduce wrinkles, reduce under eye bags, even out their complexion and a lot more. I'm actually shocked that Premiere has not come out with a feature like this yet, because as of now, using an expensive third-party plugin and then multiple masking techniques seems to be what you have to do to achieve a similar result. And in my opinion, Resolve's face refinement tool still does a better job. And this tool alone makes the entire cost of DaVinci Resolve Studio, which isn't that much, well worth it. And while we're on the topic, let's talk about cost for a sec. Question, do you like paying a subscription fee forever or as long as you want to use a product? Because I'm not really a fan of it. Currently, Premiere is around $35 a month. And if you also want Adobe Audition and After Effects, well, then you might as well just buy the whole Creative Cloud suite, which is over $650 a year. So compare that cost that's just forever ongoing to outright buying DaVinci Resolve Studio for a one-time fee that's currently $200. $95. That's a pretty huge difference in money spent over time. Just to put that into perspective, the tax alone on Creative Cloud is going to cost you more over just a couple years than the entire Resolve suite would cost you. So you buy DaVinci Resolve Studio and then you have extra money for saving gear, treating yourself to a spa day. I don't know. The point is that you have more money in your pocket. Okay, next, let's talk about another wild and awesome feature in DaVinci Resolve Studio, and that is Relight. Relight lets you literally add digital lights to your scene. You can adjust the harshness and softness of your light. You can add multiple lights. And as far as 
I know in Premiere, you just don't have anything like this. I don't know if I'm wrong, please let me know. Next, let's talk about sky replacement. Resolve has a specific sky replacement tool that auto generates sky for you. No big deal. You can customize the color of the sky, the amount of clouds you want, the shape of the clouds, and more. It's pretty amazing. In Premiere, there is not a sky replacement tool. So if you wanted to try and replace the sky, you'd have to find a clip that shows sky you really like. You'd have to use color key to remove the sky from one clip and then you'd have to try and replace it with the other clip sky and while it can be done it's less efficient more time consuming and more annoying to do Number eight, let's talk about locked on stabilization. This is another really cool feature you've probably seen in music videos or TV commercials, and it makes you do a double take. It keeps, for example, your subject's head in a specific position while everything else is moving. While I haven't used this feature on a ton of the projects I've worked on, I'm really glad I have the option to, because when you are working on a project or you're working with clients that are like, yeah, do some creative stuff, this is a really cool go-to feature. And again, this is a feature that you just can't find in Premiere. So where are you at? Are you exclusively working in Premiere? Are you considering DaVinci Resolve Studio? We love hearing from you, so let us know. If you want to know the gear that we use, like our favorite portable hard drive or any of the filming equipment, check out the description below. For weekly editing tutorials, videography, tips and tricks, and gear reviews, subscribe to our channel. And I hope you have a lovely day. We'll see you in another video.